made it to Miami. Welcome to Miami. Mini van life for Miss New Booty so that I can lay these seats go down under and then I have a mattress. Here's the dining room. Super nice, it's so cute. We have a little kitchen, so I'll be able to prepare my meals. I say me, but my nurse will be taking care of my meals. Here's the living room. It's so beautiful. Super nice. So she has a timeshare and she's allowing us to use her timeshare. Here is the master where I will be laid up on my tummy. Super nice bathroom. Um, there is a tub, but of course I won't be using that. Um, she got me a walk-in shower so that showering will be nice and safe for me. So excited. Here's the balcony. Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> Here is our view. They have a live band playing every night here. Isn't that awesome? Look at this view of the pool. How beautiful. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Mama Hughes. I love you. This is gonna be wonderful for my recovery. I cannot thank you enough. Um, tomorrow is pre-op day. So I'm gonna go get some dinner right now, get to the store, um, buy my groceries, all that stuff. Guys, listen, on the airplane, I cannot tell you the amount of pain I was in. I have a really bad sinus infection right now. And takeoff was fine. I was worried about takeoff and like the pressure from the cabin. I was fine. Listen, the pressure when we were landing, I legitimately thought my eyeballs were gonna pop out of my head. Like hands down, top three worst pains I've ever been in my life, okay? I'm just gonna keep that real with you, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, I've just realized I'm being really rude. Hi guys, I'm Holly. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're returning, welcome back, my lovely, my beautiful, my little chicken nuggets. You really have to forgive me. I'm a little out of sorts. We've been traveling all day. Um, and like I said, I'm sick. I'm not feeling the best. So we are gonna go get some dinner, um, get my groceries, and then, yeah. We got my grocery order, gotta feed the fat. What? Yum. <laughs> Gross. Good morning, guys. So today is pre-op day already. I cannot believe it's already here. I wanted to share with you guys what I brought with me to Miami really quick before we leave. To go potty is like a big deal. Um, so I bought this. It's just like a yoga foam. And... It will just sit like that. I'm just gonna leave the plastic on there um, just because I think it'll be easier to clean. We'll see if it's not, then I'll just obviously take it off, but you yeah, know, I'm thinking it'll be easier to clean. So I brought that with me. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know if I end up using all this stuff or if it was a waste of money. I'll let you guys know. So Hypoclins. You have to wash with this um, the day before surgery and the morning of. Um, so Hypoclins, Arnica gel for pain. I brought Arnica tablets, again, for pain and swelling. Um, bio oil, this is going to be for like home massages. I think that I paid for three massages. Um, however... I'm going to be doing home massages, as many massages as I can. I'm gonna to talk to them today and find out what they recommend for massages. Like, should I be doing them every day? Is it beneficial to do them twice a day? We will find out, I will let you guys know what they say, but bio oil for that. Um, I brought Colate and also milk and magnesia because y'all, I'm already sick as hell, so I need both of those. I brought both of those. Um, I brought my measuring tape. I am going to do my measurements before I leave for pre-op. So I'm gonna do that before we go today. You guys know I've been taking my measurements since I've been on like my little weight loss journey. So I had to bring this um, and then 
So I paid for foams um, and a lipo board and stuff, I believe, but I brought extra foams um, just in case. I don't like what they gave me because, you know, I'm weird. I brought my um, ab board, my back board. Oh, and then there's like a 360 wrap in here. I showed you guys all of this stuff in my um, BBL supply video. I brought those with me. I don't know if I'm gonna need them yet or not with the swelling. I went ahead and brought them just in case because everybody's swelling's different. Um, some people end up needing them sooner than others. I may not need this stuff until I get home, but better safe than sorry. And then I just brought like my pads uh, to go on the incisions some washcloths, like washcloths, and then chucks. I brought uh, chucks to put down on the bed, so I need to go ahead and get these put down on the bed tomorrow morning before surgery, do all of that stuff. Um, and then also I need to get my other bed made. So I'm gonna set up the bed in here so that I can lay on my stomach. And I brought my airplane pillow so that I can be like face down. Um, and I'm gonna put the under pads here to protect the hotel's bedding. Um, but I also brought um, a mattress for our rental van. So I'm gonna blow this up in the back of the rental van, even though I can lay completely flat back there. Um, I still wanted to bring a blow up mattress because we're going to be back and forth to the doctor's office daily and where our hotel is, we're about, I believe 30 minutes one way. So I want to make sure that I'm comfortable. I'm not sliding all around. I'm not affecting my results. So this is for the car. We're going to get that blown up in the car today. Um, and then I have this, um, right here, this pump and it does the car and then it also does inside so it does both i got all this off amazon and that mattress off amazon um this is my booty canoe this is just like a little uh, patch but i'm gonna go ahead and get this blown up this is so i can lay on my back because guys i don't sleep on my stomach i literally like I'm freaking out about having to sleep on my stomach. So like I said, I'm going to get the bed ready um, tomorrow morning before surgery. I find out my surgery time today at pre-op. Um, but I'm also going to have my booty canoe ready so that if I just get too uncomfortable on my stomach, I just already have a backup option because I know me. I'm going to be like, oh, heck no, I cannot stay like this. I need to be on my back. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get that blown up and ready to go. So this is like a wedge for your legs to keep your legs elevated for blood clots, things like that. So I want to blow this up and then I want to blow up this booty canoe. Okay, I'm going to do my measurements really quick before I head to pre-op. I'm so excited. Um, I just don't want to forget to do this because knowing me, I would. Okay, so we're at 30... Make sure that's lined up right here. About 35 inches for my under bust, the smallest part of my waist. Oop. I don't think that was right. Let me do that again. That seemed to be too small. Uh, just under 34 inches. Just under 34 inches, which that's kind of surprising me. Let's do two inches below my belly button. And we're at 37 inches. Um, and then we're going to do a straight waist. Just over 38 inches. And then the biggest part of my booty. Oh, miss a new booty loading starting tomorrow. I cannot believe that this is already here. I feel like I've been waiting forever. And it's crazy because I changed my surgery date to be sooner. Okay. We're at 41 inches on my booty. Guys, I'm going to end this vlog right here. We're going to head to pre-op. 
I will keep you guys updated on how that goes, how my surgery goes, all of that stuff. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or on my Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.